for us revenge. Cobra! faced with a grave threat from our enemy, Cobra, which has threatened to destroy 10 national capitals if their demand for $10 billion to build their Galaxy Command Station is not delivered to them in gold by noon tomorrow. A special summit of the Western World Power Alliance is meeting in the White House today. Together we will come to a decision on how we will respond to Cobra's threat. There is no need for panic. I will not let a mob of terrorists hold the free world hostage. This threat will be met with a peaceful solution, or I'm not the President of the United States of America. This is Cliff Norman with USA News. You have just heard a portion of the speech the President gave earlier today. The Galaxy Command Station that Cobra so desperately needs funds to build will eventually hold the world hostage from a strategic solar-powered space station. However, there is a more immediate threat. Cobra claims to have missiles aimed at 10 Western national capitals, which they have refused to name. The missiles will be launched at noon tomorrow if $10 billion in gold is not delivered to them. To give Cobra the $10 billion for the Galaxy Command Station means that endless world misery is in our future. To refuse them the money means certain death to thousands of innocent people at noon tomorrow. We can only hope the Western World Power Alliance has a plan to stop the vicious, viperous, and venomous threats of Cobra. Meanwhile, at G.I. Joe headquarters... This newsman obviously doesn't know about Operation Change Code. Yeah, for once the press isn't threatening national security. If they knew about change code, that newsman would be on his knees right now. Come on, guys, get off the press's case. They do their job, we do ours. Yeah, but while they're fighting for freedom of the press, we're fighting to keep them from tipping off Cobra of our top secret plan on the 6 o'clock news. Cobra hasn't got a chance against our special G.I. Joe sabotage squad. My guess is that Bazooka and Lady J have already scrambled those missile codes. Yes, sir. Those two are a pair to watch. Sir. We just got word from the change code squad. They managed to successfully change the missile codes. The missiles are now programmed to hit Cobra's own territory if they don't disarm the missiles in 20 minutes. Excellent. Inform the Secretary of Defense. Stand by to see if Cobra manages to cancel the attack. As the commander was saying this, the special G.I. Joe team was informing the Cobra commander of their success. Bazooka, the G.I. Joe missile specialist, was doing the talking. Commander, you have exactly 20 minutes to disarm your missiles, or you will be marshmallows in the morning. You can't bluff me, you cowards! Do you really expect me to believe such an impossible threat? Show him an updated attack map. Go on, see for yourself. The Cobra Commander instructed one of his soldiers to ask the computer for an updated map. I can't believe it! You tampered with the computer and programmed in a fake map! Oh, what a cheap trick! He was enraged. The Cobra targets had been replaced by flashing red stars placed in the various key locations of Cobra strongholds. Some were the very allies who were to sell Cobra the equipment needed to build their Galaxy Command stations. Why don't you ask your computer how cheap our trick is? It might be more expensive than you think. Scan the memory banks and see if any information has been programmed from the outside. Yes, Commander. 
The only thing I see, Commander, is an internal update made at 0700, which revises the missile targets to hit ten locations of the Cobra Alliance. The map is no fake. So... Don't just sit there, you sniveling twit! Disarm the missiles immediately! Yes, Commander. Everyone in the Cobra Command Station wildly went about carrying out their commander's frantic orders. Come on, it's time for us to disappear. Our job is finished. That was Lady J. She is a smooth lady with a knack for disappearing into the woodwork. A real plus to any intelligence team. Are you sure the computer is programmed to self-destruct once the missiles are dead? I'm sure. Let's get out of here while our snaky friends are busy. One more strike against Cobra. I have a feeling it won't be our last. The G.I. Joe Change Code Squad easily escaped from the Cobra Command Station and made for the transport waiting to take them to safety. This is Cliff Norman with USA News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled program for an important news bulletin. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. Well, my fellow Americans, Cobra's ploy has been defeated. Exactly five minutes ago, I received a message from G.I. Joe headquarters. A top secret plan called Operation Change Code has been successfully accomplished. A brave and daring team of G.I. Joes managed to reprogram Cobra's missiles. Cobra has now disarmed those missiles to avert an attack against their own battle stations. There is no longer a threat to any nation. I repeat, there is no longer a threat of any kind. Thanks to the rapid maneuvering of our G.I. Joes, children can play, mothers can sleep at night, and fathers can know their families will live to see tomorrow. Thank you, G.I. Joe. We salute you. Freedom reigns in the Western world. At G.I. Joe headquarters, trouble was on the horizon. Back from her top secret mission, Lady J was back on her job as personnel clerk at headquarters. She had bad news. You may be thanking us too soon. What do you mean, Jay? I just got a message from White House security. Ten guards are found knocked out this morning. They had been gassed. You don't think? Yes, I do. It has Cobra written all over it. Ask permission to send a squad over to the White House. Inform the President that there might be a serious threat to security. Every leader of the Western World Power Alliance is in there. I know, and so does Cobra. Sir, we just received the following message. Cobra has planted landmines all around the White House grounds. They plan to activate them at noon today. It's 11.55 now, sir. Clear the White House grounds. We've got five minutes. We've got to get the President and the Alliance out of the White House. Bazooka's in there, too. There's not time. Jay, get Tripwire over there to defuse those mines. He's got a sprained ankle. He slipped in the shower yesterday. I wish he'd be more careful. I can't believe we let that guy near explosives. You know he's smooth as glass when he gets around explosives. He's the best we've got. But he only has one good leg. I'd rather have Tripwire with one good leg than two men with four good legs. Very well, sir. We've received another message from Cobra, sir. They claim there's a bomb planted in the White House. Tell Tripwire to find out where those mines are quick and get past them to that bomb. We'll defuse the mines later. Bazooka is in the White House. He was briefing the Alliance on yesterday's attack on Cobra headquarters. He will locate the bomb. Good. Someone find that Cobra commander who instigated this plan. He got on a commercial airliner, and I don't know how that lizard slid past security. I knew he would try to save his skin after he humiliated him in front of all his Cobra allies. Stop all planes from leaving any eastern city. We're going to trap that reptile. While the G.I. Joes were tracking the Cobra Commander and searching for the hidden bomb, Tripwire was alone on the White House grounds, fighting for the lives of the Western Alliance with every step. Tripwire had to get to that bomb. I've got to get to that bomb, but one false step and I'll set off one of those landmines. I don't know how Cobra managed to get so many of these things planted without our knowing it. If we don't pull this one off, G.I. Joe's name is Dirt. All communication between Tripwire and G.I. Joe headquarters had been cut off until he reached the White House. Alone, with no voice to listen to but his own, Tripwire slowly planted one foot in front of the other, dodging Cobra's cleverly planted mines. His sprained ankle slowed him down, and his whole body screamed to run and get to that bomb before it was too late. I'm only halfway there. It's taken me half an hour to get this far, and the bomb's going to blow in 20 minutes. I've got to get there on time. I'll have to move faster.
With sweat pouring down his face, he grimaced with pain, picked up his pace, and moved forward. His head ached from intense concentration. He knew that every step could be his last. I can't let the Alliance down. We interrupt your regularly scheduled program with a special news bulletin. This is Cliff Norman. Oh, shut up! Hello, America. This is Cobra. The Cobra commander had stormed into the TV studio demanding airtime. His request was granted, as he had brought ten Cobra soldiers with him. They had death in their eyes and machine guns in their hands. In a short while, your glorious White House will be a pile of cold ashes. I have planted landmines around the White House and put a bomb in the White House to blow up that ridiculous president of yours. The rest of the West and alliance leaders will blow up with him. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe I'll run for president when he is gone. <laughs> Back to you, Biff. It's Cliff, not Biff. Cliff Norman. Back at G.I. Joe headquarters, everyone was furious. Get him. Cobra must not get away with this. Yeah, and he called Cliff Norman Biff. I want that snake alive and squirming. Sir, Bazooka has located the bomb. They weren't lying. It will go off in ten minutes. He wants to know if he should try to defuse it. No, tell him to stand by. Let's give Tripwire more time. Come on, Tripwire. I don't know how you're going to do it, but you've got to. Tripwire had 20 yards to go to get to the entrance to the White House. His head was aching, his ankle throbbing, and his heart pounding. The mines are getting less dense. I guess they never dreamed I'd make it this far. Cobra has given us our only hope. Now I can make up for lost time. Tripwire got closer and closer to the White House. Everyone inside was holding their breath, watching his every move. 15 feet, 10 feet, 5 feet, 2 feet, the steps... Ouch. I can't believe it. He managed to dodge a hundred mines and he trips on the steps. Tripwire, are you all right? I believe I have a sprained wrist, sir. How is he going to defuse the bomb? Tripwire, how are you going to defuse the bomb? With one hand, sir. Tripwire dashed into the White House. Bazooka met him and they raced to where the bomb had been planted. Several members of the Western Alliance followed. Are you sure you can do this with one hand? Watch me. They watched him. Every meticulous move he made brought them closer to safety. Every second that ticked away took them closer to death. The seconds rushed by. Tripwire examined the wiring with painstaking slowness. The silence was maddening. Five, four, three, two... Tell the president his house is safe. Tripwire clipped the final wire and held it up with a big grin on his face. There was nervous laughter and sighs of relief. Oh, whew. Now for those landmines. Tripwire and a team of explosive experts worked through the night under special floodlights defusing the mines. By morning, the job had been done. That is, every job except one. I have bad news, sir. What is it? The Cobra Commander has slipped away. We weren't able to stop him or capture any of the Crimson Guard. What? Our radar detected a submarine leaving U.S. waters five minutes ago. It was Cobra. I can't believe it. Sir, the President just called to thank us for a job well done. Did you tell him about the enemy getting away? Yes, sir. He said he was just glad to be alive. He said we'll get Cobra the next time. What a guy. What was that? Tripwire. He ran into the door and hit his head. Hey, Tripwire. Nice black eye. I hear the President's going to award you with a gold star for bravery. I was just doing my job. I'm only a hero, sir. No need to thank me. He's right. It's not the gold star that counts. It's the lives he saved that are important. Good job, Tripwire. Thank you, sir. If you will excuse me, sir, I'm taking a few days leave. Where are you going? To the hospital, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, the world is a safe place to be, thanks to the G.I. Joe team of experts. G.I. Joe, a real American hero.